what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so uh we got a little news so as you can see the mustang is gone and you guys already know i sold the uh white six seven well i also sold my mustang so if you guys follow me on instagram you will see that i actually sold my mustang as well yeah surprising i just bought it i already sold it but i decided i wanted to get rid of a bunch of debt and I still have something, I should say I bought something this weekend, this last weekend, because today's Saturday. Um, this last weekend I went all the way up to Pennsylvania and I bought a 2007 6 Power Stroke. Um, truck is not perfect, it's got a lot of work, but that's the whole point of it. My biggest thing is, is if you look, the frame is not rusty. If you look, none of this has any rust on it. I gotta fix that, yeah. But the pinch weld, everything is like mint condition. Now, the interior does need some work, and it is an XLT, so we are gonna be switching a lot of stuff over um, to leather. Uh, this is already leather, but I'm gonna put black leather in it. I'm gonna actually, I wanna switch the entire interior to black leather. Um, so it does have a lot of work to do on it um it's got 22 by 14s on it hostiles they do have some curb rash that we are going to fix over winter get rid of the stretchy boy tires because i'm not a fan of stretch tires so we're going to put some furies 1550 furies on it like i had on my other truck um but for a, a 14 year old truck this thing is really good condition it's got airbags on the back uh axle dump exhaust which is going to change and we're going to kick it out the side once again because i'm not a fan of that um Trying to think what else got oh, eight plus mirrors we had to fix the wiring in that which will be in a video where we peel that out and hopefully figure out what's wrong with those bumpers got to be lifted back up um it needs new shocks in the rear it's got fox in the front but old ones in the rear uh, the truck was driven one winter the truck originally came from las, Van or las vegas and the guy i bought it from used it as a a company vehicle as his personal company company truck he used it for his business of uh, stump grinding um, I'll actually insert a picture with all the stickers still on it and the box still in the truck, the dump bed. But for being a company truck, this truck's actually in really good condition. Minus this side of the box has some rock chips on it from stuff hitting the side of it, obviously. But like I said, this truck's a project truck. My plan is, is to redo the entire interior. I want to put newer interior and I want to do cabin seats front and rear. Um, change over everything over to black, sort of like headliner. Um, I want to install cab lights because it doesn't have cab lights. But like I said, it just, it's oh, so much I want to do to this truck. And the biggest reason that I bought this truck is this truck only has six, well now it only has 6,000 miles on a rebuilt motor. And it has 17,000 on a brand new transmission. So the heart of this truck is super healthy, minus it does need injectors. We found out on the way home, um, I think the guy kind of lied to me a little bit. Ran pretty good on the way home. Yeah, most of the way home, it still had some funny things. So we put a new uh, ICP sensor and EBP sensor in it. It helped, but when the truck is cold, it has a misfire. And I am about 99% positive that it has a sticky injector. thinking after sticking all that money into this truck he got sick of it and decided he didn't want to stick any more money into it because it does have uh for the frame rail filter that housing for that filter is new it's got a new fuel pump in it he just stuck ten thousand dollars into the motor three grand into the transmission all within the last like six months and honestly i think he just got sick of it but i mean most of the truck is brand new so i'm gonna put bigger injectors in it because obviously i'm not gonna put stock ones back in it and I'm just going to do a bunch of stuff. So this winter, it's probably not going to get interior stuff done on it. It's probably going to be mostly motor stuff, which you guys will get to see. Um, I also want to powder coat all the suspension and stuff, uh, the color of the truck and uh, curtain color. I don't really 100% know what color, but I have a pretty good idea, which you guys will see once um, once it actually happens because I just, I'll probably change my mind a couple different times. 
But uh, yeah, so they got a lot of work to go into this truck. Um, like I said, most of it's probably gonna be motor work this winter. All depends on what I can afford. Um, too, like I said, different tires gonna like that. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a good truck. We already did put a smoke switch on it. And then eventually it's only make it bad. Cody, what you doing there, bud? What you doing there, Cody? Smoke switch. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound legal. It is legal, don't worry about it. The EPA went through. Yeah, you don't need to worry about those guys. This is Wisconsin. No, no, it's perfect. Whoa, okay. Cause you know, why not? Pull all the decals off, pull the running boards off. Uh, do anything, what else we did? We cleaned the interior, we put a new tune on it. <laughs> yeah, just a small tow tune on it when we bought it. So we took the, my old tuner, my old SCT from my EcoBoost, if you guys remember that. And I had that unlocked cause I forgot to untune my last truck, which was my EcoBoost that it was on. So it was married to that truck. So I had to pay to get it unlocked and then we put innovative diesel tunes on it. Tunes are amazing. But once in a while the truck hiccups and kind of doesn't run very good because of the injectors. Um, really doesn't like being driven cold. Once it warms up, it usually runs fairly decent most of the time, but yeah, it's got a straight pipe exhaust with like a seven inch, seven and a half inch tip. Um, yeah, it's a nice truck for the most part, you know, for it being an 07. It's pretty, pretty nice condition. It needs, like I said, needs some work, but that's the whole point of it. I wanted a project truck for the channel, something that was cheaper that didn't cost me an arm and a leg every month. That's why I got rid of the car and my other truck because I just wanted something cheaper that I could do more to, to show, give you guys more content. Um, my white truck needed a lot of work, but it was the sucky part is it was like a lot of maintenance work. It wasn't a lot of, a lot of stuff I could make real good decent content out of and it was shit that was all oh, retardedly expensive you know everything for this truck dirt cheap that's why I love it and then like I said the main things is healthy on it so like I can just do more modifications like I said we're injectors not a big deal because we're gonna put bigger injectors and stuff in it while we're at it um I mean just just for instance intercooler piping I wanted to do that on my 6.7 I thought that'd be a fun video intercooling piping for that truck was roughly close to 14 to 1500 bucks literally six hundred dollars for this truck um injectors are pretty close to the same uh turbo turbo is a lot cheaper on this truck well i shouldn't say a lot it's about probably pretty close to the same for turbo wise uh yeah it just a lot of stuff was a lot cheaper though you know like a lot of the interior stuff i thought would be fun and make videos out of you know swapping out seats and trying to figure out other things like i'm one of the things i'm gonna put uh fog lights on it doesn't have fog lights i want to put some in it wire it in you guys will see that same with the rear power window i want to add that at some point and do a video on that how that's all done um you know with the mirrors they don't the mirrors don't work shut it's got all the wiring there for it so i'm just gonna figure that out get those to work you know i feel like it makes a lot of fun videos um we'll do videos of it running and driving obviously and uh, it should be a lot of fun but a lot of stuff we've been doing is off camera right now just for the fact that you know it's just a lot of like piddly stuff right now stuff that you know would not be interesting like taking the running boards off um the tuning i wish i would have recorded but there again we're just trying to get it to run good i really wanted it fixed before we uh made a video i made a video of it but there again i think it's injectors it goes in this friday to get uh, tested and then we find out that's the issue and if that's the issue we're doing that over winter because There'll be some other goodies that come along with it. We ain't just doing just injectors, so. Yeah, we'll get some clips of this thing here in a little while and see what you guys think of it. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys are excited as I am to make make and see all this content of this truck. And it should, it should be a really fun truck. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. That being said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Welcome back to the now Reckless we need to Offsets a channel. Intro. Can you hear me? The, the the one look at this thing, there. boys. What? Yeah, Cody sold the 6.7 and the Mustang, the owner of Reckless Offset. Look what he bought, boys. Woo! Woo! <laughs> no. And then eventually it's only make it. Bad. Cody, what you doing there, bud? What you doing there, Cody? Smoke switch. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound legal. It is legal. Don't worry about it. The EPA went through. Yeah, you don't need to worry about those guys. This is Wisconsin. No, no, it's Rolls the window. There we go.
Zombie shit biscuit. Hey, what channel is this? I don't know. Reckless Offset? <laughs>